It's Umsum time! What if Earth became brighter than the sun? No ways! Nobody can get brighter than Umsum! Oh, Umsum. If Earth became brighter than the sun, we may have to start wearing glares at all times. Moon may completely lose its importance. Hmm. Everyone may start ignoring the sun. Earth may become the center of attraction. Hmm. People who love huh? to sleep may jump off to a different planet. Hmm. Nobody will be interested in sunrise or sunset huh? anymore. <laughs> Earth may start charging for its light. It may become very, very rich. Hmm. Instead of revolving around the sun, comets may now huh? start revolving around Earth. Hmm. Thieves may not have any place left to hide. Huh? Oh. Hmm. All types of aliens may get attracted to planet Earth. Hmm. Huh? Even the moon <laughs> may start experimenting on itself in order to become much brighter. <laughs> hmm. To buy Umsum merchandise, visit umsum.com. What if there was no gravity on Earth? No problemo. I will order my burger from space. Oh, um, some. From purely physics point of view, there would be no Earth left, as no gravity means oh. no mass. But leaving this point aside, let's see what else will happen. Oceans, rivers, and lakes will float away. Entire atmosphere will vanish. Only vacuum will be left. Everything on the surface of the Earth, including humans, cars, rocks, etc., will become weightless and float away into space. Things that are rooted into Earth, like trees, bridges, and buildings, will remain, but not for long. On a funnier note, anybody will be able to lift heavy weights. Football will become a one-kick game, and there will be no need of stairs or elevators. Finally, Earth will also start breaking into chunks as it is held together by gravity. What if the Earth had two moons? So what? Even I have my two lollipops. I lick them every day. Hmm? That's gross, Umsum. -sum. The most obvious effect of two moons would be that our nights would be oh. much, much hmm. brighter. That would certainly be bad news for stargazers huh? and astronomers. Also, as you all know that tides on Earth are a result of the moon, so, two moons would either amplify this effect or cancel out each other. If they were to amplify, then we could have huge tides, effectively making living near shorelines almost impossible. But it will definitely be good news for all the surfers. Hmm. Finally, as the number of moons increases, so will the number of solar eclipses. Also, hypothetically, if they were to ever collide with each other, then the amount of debris coming out of such collision would make living on Earth almost impossible. Hmm. Ah, what if the Earth was cube-shaped? Holy moly! Will my cute chubby round face also turn into a cube? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm some. <laughs> Earth is spherical in shape because of gravity. Ah. Earth's gravity mm. pulls everything equally towards its center and thus ah. gives it a spherical shape. Now, if the Earth was cube-shaped, firstly, it would look weird, right? Secondly, just like gravity, our weight would be different at different places on Earth. This is because the eight corners of the cube would be much further away from the cube's center as compared to the rest of the cube. But this would be good news for people who are overweight and lazy. Now they can just go to the corners ah. and voila, their weight gets reduced. Thirdly, due to low gravitational force, the cube corners would have very less atmospheric cover and almost no water, thus rendering them inhospitable. What if a massive solar flare hits Earth? 
I will use my umsum shield and protect the Earth. <laughs> oh, umsum. Solar flares are sudden and massive eruptions of electromagnetic radiation from the sun's surface. <laughs> a massive solar flare which occurred in 1859 had minimal impact, but it would have massive disruptions today, huh? mainly because of our over-reliance on technology. The Earth's surface would be safe, but our atmosphere would bear the entire brunt of radiation, that is, radio waves, x-rays, gamma rays, etc. Firstly, there would be a major disruption of power grids, possibly leaving cities or even countries without any electricity. Secondly, our good old radio communication would be down and out. Thirdly, and most importantly, GPS and satellite communications would be hit. This would cause major problems for transportation and communication. Lastly, because of massive auroras, our atmosphere would look like a magnificent painting. What if Earth had doubled in size? Wow! Will my burgers also double in size? <laughs> Stop it, umsum. Diameter of Earth would increase from 8,000 miles to 16,000 miles. <laughs> if the density of Earth remains the same, then its mass will increase eightfold. Earth's gravity will naturally double. This will have major oh. consequences. Firstly, our weight will double. All the gyms will definitely see increased enrollments. Secondly, our bones will not be able to support our increased weight. Thirdly, our hearts will have to work double hard to make sure blood reaches all the parts of our body. Fourthly, birds, airplanes, choppers will all fall down to the ground. Fifthly, trees will not be able to stand upright. Most of them will fall down. Finally, if we fall down, it will hurt twice as much. What if Earth started spinning backwards? Backward spinning of the Earth is termed as a retrograde motion. Now, to understand the effects of this retrograde motion on Earth, scientists perform some simulations. In these simulations, the first noticeable change was that the direction of winds and ocean currents reversed, causing changes in climactic conditions. This resulted in a much greener Earth as the world's desert shrank from 42 million square kilometers to 31 million square kilometers. Secondly, at present, rising level of carbon dioxide is contributing to global warming. But in the retrograde world, with more trees to absorb carbon dioxide, the global mean temperature dropped by about 0.2 degrees Celsius, thus considerably lowering the effects of global warming. Lastly, the rainfall pattern also changed. As a result, the Great Sahara Desert and the Arabian Desert got covered in trees and grasses. While never seen before, deserts emerged in southern Brazil and Argentina. What if Earth was flat? I don't like flats. I like bungalows. Oh, um, some. Earth would not remain flat for a long time as gravity will oh. make sure it again pops up into a sphere. Remember, gravity pulls equally <laughs> from all sides. Hence, planets are spherical. Now, if Earth was flat and not a sphere, then it would obviously stop rotating. This will lead to the following oh. problems. Firstly, only revolution around the Sun but no rotation around its axis would mean that Earth will experience a six-month-long day, followed by a six-month-long night. Secondly, it is believed that rotation of Earth generates its magnetic field. Without rotation, there would be no magnetic field to protect us from the harmful solar winds. Also, it would mean an end to the world-famous lights called auroras as they are formed due to the interaction between Earth's magnetic field and particles of solar wind. Mm. What if an asteroid hit Earth? No ways! I will protect Earth using my umsum shield. <laughs> wow, umsum. An asteroid is a small rocky body orbiting the sun. Millions of asteroids lie in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. The asteroid which hit Earth almost 65 million years ago is considered to be the sole huh. reason behind the extinction of dinosaurs. The force with which an asteroid hits the Earth is not the only problem. The dust and smoke which arise in the atmosphere after the impact block the sunlight, resulting in the lowering of overall temperature and eventually leading to the death of a number of species. 
If an apartment-sized asteroid were to hit Earth, then it would probably wipe out a small city. If a 20-storied building-sized asteroid were to hit Earth, then it might completely flatten a small country.